The latest polls out of Arizona show that President Trump is trailing Joe Biden by as much as six points. Arizona has only voted for one Democratic presidential candidate in the last 68 years. So is this reliably red state now turning purple? NBC News political reporter Von Hilliard has more on the shift. The presidential race has its typical key players, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Florida, North Carolina. But now it's Arizona, the conservative bastion of the West, that could upend the political map in 2020. Joe Biden consistently leading in polling over President Trump this year, despite just one Democratic presidential candidate winning the state over the last 70 years. But it's also the state's Democratic Senate candidate, Mark Kelly, within reach of a defining victory, too. The former astronaut and husband of former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, making the case for Democrats in this longtime Republican state. I would say, if anything, that it is a state that really values independence. This, the state where Barry Goldwater helped establish conservatism as the key principle of the modern-day Republican Party. We Republicans seek a government that attends to its inherent responsibilities of maintaining a stable monetary and fiscal climate. In Sandra Day O'Connor, it's Western independence. I do not believe that it is the function of the judiciary to step in and change the law because the times have changed or the social mores have changed. The former Arizona Republican legislator plucked out of the desert to become a swing vote on the U.S. Supreme Court, all before John McCain, the young former prisoner of war, hit the Phoenix pavement to become the face of its politics. You well know I've been called a maverick, someone who marches to the beat of his own drum. But today's Republican Party, now helmed by Donald J. Trump, we're going to win the state of Arizona. In Arizona, signaling it may turn to Democrats, two years after the passing of McCain, who became perhaps the most notable critic of Trump. His wife, Cindy McCain, now on the campaign trail for Biden and on airwaves. Joe will always fight for the American people, just like John did. But Cindy McCain represents a shifting element of Arizona's electorate. Did you vote for Hillary Clinton in 2016? No. Who did you vote for? Trump. You voted for Trump? Yeah, I thought we could use a change. Guess what? We got a change. Fortunately, it's a bad change. What does it mean to be an Arizona independent? We think for ourselves. We look at the, we look at what's best. I mean, we read, we, that's the big thing, we read. Arizona independents make up one third of the state's registered voters. It's unquestionable there's been a rise in of unaffiliated registration. What we saw in this cycle was that about 56, 57 percent of those voters were requesting Democratic ballots. Evidence of that shift? 2016. After a 24-year reign, Maricopa County Republican Sheriff Joe Arpaio lost his re-election bid, and Hillary Clinton lost Arizona to Trump by just three and a half percentage points. Then in 2018, voters picked a Democrat for the U.S. Senate, Kirsten Sinema. Was there any point in which you were considering Martha McSally, or did her affiliation with the president move you away from her? That, that, that kind of did it for me. <laughs> Not interested. It, it, it is a reckoning. One that could cost the party in 2020. There isn't a healthy debate within the Republican Party anymore about what we stand for. It's either you're this or you're not. And that's not a healthy place to be. Maricopa County, it encompasses most of Phoenix's expansive suburbs. The county alone makes up 60% of the electorate. I'll be candid. I'm a registered Republican who's mostly embarrassed by the Republican Party at this point. Polling here shows a major swing among Arizona suburb voters. Trump won them by 16% in 2016, but is now losing them in polling. It's the same story for Arizona's senior population. Among voters 65 and older, Trump is now down to Biden among this typically reliable conservative vote. I have always voted Republican. Uh, my family's always been Republican. My grandparents were and so forth. So. But uh, I think things are going to change. You voted for Donald Trump in 2016? Yes, I did. 
my feeling was that once he got into office, he wasn't going to be the uh, boisterous bully on Apprentice that he was there. And the share of Latinos in the state continues to advantage Democrats. In 1980, Latinos made up 16% of its population. Since then, it's doubled its share to nearly one third. We have, you know, registered people and signed people up on the permanent early voting list. But Trump still draws major crowds in the state. When you see turnouts like this, I just don't see that it's, it's going to be that close. I believe that God uses unperfect people to um, do his will. So how do you think Arizona goes? Red! Did you vote in 2016 by chance? You did not, but why come out this year? Have you watched the news? It's clear. Because the Democrats hadn't lost their mind in 2016. I don't want to lose them in a socialist country or a third world country. These competitive stakes are not lost on the GOP, including Republican Senator Martha McSally in her race against Democrat Mark Kelly. This is going to decide the direction of the country, this race. It's going to decide the Senate majority, and Chuck Schumer is going to have to pry that Senate majority out of my cold, dead hands. But will the Republican Party's defiance in the desert hold up? Or will this state, which breathed the life into the grand old party for the last half century, be the one to defy what it's become?